much warmer in here than it is outside. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for the warm welcome, guys. One of the best, most well respected British actors like, and actresses of all time. We fangirl and fanboy over Harry Potter and our favorite characters, but were there any actors or actresses that you fanboyed over while you were on set? Um, be honest. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're definitely all of them. Um, the only one that I was, honestly, as a 12-year-old meeting Richard Harris and Hamlet on the Carter and so forth, I didn't know who these people really were. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't seen their films. I was, nobody did I not know the books, I didn't know the actors and the names. So <laughs> I was really un un uneducated. But I was terrified of Alan Rickman who plays Snake. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Yeah. Like, uh, he kind of stayed in character a little bit, and he has that incredible terrifies his kids. He's um, doing character? He, he kind of. I don't want to say he's method, but he definitely didn't turn into a bubbly, you know, <laughs> light-hearted soul. He was pretty dark. Um, it took me, took me about six years to get past saying, Morning, Alan! <laughs> uh, and actually, he's subsequently one of the nicest guys out there, and incredibly funny. He's got an immense sense of dry wit. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun getting over, getting over that thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, we can have our favorite movies and our favorite TV shows, but the fandom surrounding Harry Potter, it's just not going anywhere. So, why do you think that is? It's the million dollar question. It's, it's, <laughs> so, it's so special. It really is. The fact that we finished, you know, four or five years ago, uh, and, and it doesn't seem to be dying down at all. Um, yeah, it is. Seems, it seems to have touched so many people's lives in so many ways that I think people are just really keen to, to hang on to it and keep it going. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the great, great aspects of the stories. And the fact that uh, Universal are building more theme parks and there are new attractions popping up. I'm sure there'll be a musical and ice version. But, uh, yeah. I'm actually producing the musical ice version. But, uh, I know, I know, I know. It's a joke. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great that the, that the fans sort of, it's, it's ever growing. I feel like it's a rite of passage now for youngsters. Um, half the reason I haven't read the books was because reading really wasn't cool when I was uh, 11, 12, certainly not where I was. If you were seen reading in your lunch break, it was kind of a, you know, not the thing to be doing. Uh, and within two years, that completely switched on its head, and suddenly I was the outcast because I hadn't read the yeah. So it's amazing that uh, it's inspired so many people to, to, to re, uh, relearn how, how enjoyable reading can be. This is, is not only better than any other one, it knocks every other one out of the park. So it's, it's um, we met you earlier at the signing, and you were really nice. So why do you always play evil characters? <laughs> Good question. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Must be some inner dark child waiting to get out of it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know it's a lot more fun. I actually struggle to play characters that have been closer to, to, to my own character. Um, it's a lot more fun when you get to step into the shoes of someone really horrible. <laughs> it's not very nice to be horrible in real life either. You know? It's not a very warm feeling, so it's great to be able to do it on, uh, do it on camera. And for years I had six-year-olds calling me all sorts of names. Uh, <laughs> it took me a while to, to learn that they were compliments. <laughs> Thinking that you're actually Draco? Yeah, a lot of kids get freaked out. Uh, they even get, they're actually more freaked out by uh, friendliness, you know. If, if you, they almost want you to be uh, like Draco. If you come up and say, hi kids, nice to meet you. They're like, oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really freaks them out, so yeah, it's always fun. food and drink on the set. <laughs> and I want to clear this up because that is absolutely true. <laughs> I think then the kids start to follow suit, so in the, the, the wardrobe put their hand in afterwards and it's just chocolate and sweets and all sorts of things. So that was one of them. One of them ones more 
poignantly, going back to Aaron again, Christ, um, <laughs> he wore a very long cloak. And I think actually it's his idea to say, I want a few meters of drag on the floor. So when he walked, there's a bit of a sweeping. And uh, one of the last scenes of the sixth film, uh, after uh, Dumbledore's demise, the sort of evil clan are leaving, we, we uh, exit through the Great Hall. And we're sort of in this sort of like V formation, like the, like the geese flying the, uh... Anyway, um, the director wanted me to walk as close behind Alan as possible. You can see where this is going. And before the take, Alan turned around in his joke ways and said, don't step on my effing cloak. And he didn't smile. The rest of us, me and the dead thing is kind of looking at each other like, is he joking? <laughs> Nonetheless, take one, I stand straight up, we're, we're walking quite fast, and I stand on it full stead, and it's connected to his neck. <laughs> so I ripped it back, and uh, I, all I could do was laugh, I was like, this is so weird. And he didn't smile or laugh. But uh, I think he forgave, he forgave me for it at a later today. <laughs> I also have just one other question. Sure. I have given that some thought, and I always thought I'd be a brilliant Hermione, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, honestly, I, I couldn't see myself playing anyone other than Hagrid. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm very attached to Draco, so maybe in 20 years, if they came back and did it again, a 4D scratch and sniff version or whatever, <laughs> I could play Lucius, that'd be fun. Stern words from the director saying, Tom, we really need you to shut up now. <laughs> so yeah, that was always fun. 